Please don't. You can't run very fast right now. I can't run very fast right now. I'll give you a one second head start. Don't break my helmet! Good morning. It is Christmas weekend. Today is Saturday the 23rd. It's like 9.20 right now. I just got done with chores. I'm about to go get Bacardi. I'm gonna try to jump him today. He has not jumped since the last show in November. It's been about a month since he's jumped, so I'm a little bit nervous, but Aqua is in the same boat. She hasn't jumped since the show and I got that out of the way yesterday and survived So hopefully we survive today with Bacardi too. Okay, really quick. Here's a little video of Aqua's jump school yesterday I have on my raccoon Christmas sweater. I didn't think I was gonna get here before Christmas, but it got here yesterday, so I'm very excited about it. I think it was a great purchase. I have another one coming too. It says trashing through the snow, but it's not gonna be here in time for Christmas, but I'll still wear it. Tell your ex man, brush up on his openness, cause I'm in California trying to put you where the ocean is. Hit the text mate like you just now opened it. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. And I know you think you're still on the low, but I heard how you feel from everybody you know. Oh, you're just crusty, I ain't trying to keep it close, Oh, mama, I want it, just let it fall off. If you tell me that you want it, baby, it's a good deal. Oh, mama, I want it, I want it all. How you scared to make a plan when your friends are calling me your man? Shake them. No. No, no, don't shake them. She said they were fragile. It was a test. They no. passed their test. Oh, look at that. Really cool. Oh, really cool. You can't run very fast right now. I can't run very fast right now. <laughs> I'll give you a one second head start. Don't break my helmet. Hey, there's horses. What is that? There's, there's horses. That would be nice. It's poultice. Don't let the clean horse get the poultice. Get away. Don't get it on my sweater. I have nowhere to go. 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 Go away. Go away. Far away. Get out of here. They're all Christmas out. My horse is a reindeer.
I'm sitting on this broken bench and I'm slightly scared that it's just gonna fall apart. Plus, pork chop is up here. So anyways, it's been kind of an eventful last couple of minutes. While Bella and Chloe were riding, it just got more and more loud from our neighbors. It's like an Airbnb over there. So there's different people there all the time. Some people are less annoying than others. I did a really bad job explaining this, so I'm gonna explain it a little better right now. So basically while the girls were riding, all this like screaming and just like the most obnoxious little noise kept happening and it was so, so loud. After they were done with their lessons, I kind of walked over there just to make sure that whatever was going on wasn't being done intentionally to scare the horses because the horses were super freaked out. So when I got over there, there were a bunch of boys chasing each other around, shooting what I hope were fake guns because they were aiming the guns at each other. The noise didn't sound like an actual gun. Probably wouldn't bother the horses as much because they're used to that. The other neighbors shoot guns all the time. That's not a rare occurrence for them. But anyways, the boys are like running around shooting their guns and then all of a sudden they notice my horse is freaking out and they go, oh, horses. And then one of them goes, I dare you to shoot one. But yeah, other than that, everything has been fine. Bacardi was great this morning. It was a little bit rusty, but overall, very good. Bella's getting Frankie ready. If the noise stops, we might try going outside. If not, we're just gonna ride inside and hope by the time she's done with that, that the boys, it's their nap time or something. And they just sleep the rest of the day and like just don't come back outside. <laughs> Those kids were still carrying on with their nonsense when Bella was ready to get on Frankie, so she ended up riding him in the indoor today. Which actually probably worked out for the best because then Bella was able to do some of the crazy turns that I did on Frankie a few days ago using this course that Bella made. We were able to have a lot of bending lines from our little course in the indoor, so this line that Bella is riding right here is what I originally set, and then all the other poles are what Bella put out. The bending lines that came from the poles Bella set are my favorite, so the bending line she just rode was a holding three, and the one she's coming to is a forward three. So it was obviously really good for the horses because it works on their adjustability, but it was also great for the kids, getting them to think about what's coming next and not just kind of going along with whatever pace their horse had they actually had to like influence their horse a little bit. Now I'm on Cricket, and don't think that because we're in the outdoor that the chaos has stopped. It has absolutely not. They're still going full force over there, but Cricket is a little more level-headed than Frankie, so I'm willing to take my chances. Before we called it quits for the day, there was still enough daylight for Chloe to have a quick little lesson on Marco. We didn't do a whole lot because we were obviously running out of daylight. I ended up digging out my T-Rex Christmas sweater so that Chloe could put it on and it would match the T-Rex saddle pad and that way we could get some really cute pictures. Just eat it. It smells good. I'm good. That's Alan's job. <laughs> There's no frog in there. Yeah, no, there is. It's right there. Don't make it hop at me. Yo. Oh. Oh, frog. Hey, yo, froggy. Oh, oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I don't want the closure. I've opened my mind. Lena Cazanori should have kissed you. I know. Lately, I've been blinded by the issues. I don't want to talk about it to Chris anymore. If 
Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, you're wrapping paper. Oh, Chloe. Chloe. Nacho's sweater looks like a crop top. <laughs> Do you know the saddle pad thing I take to oh horse shows? I keep all that stuff. I got that so we can wash all of your saddle pads you have and you can keep them in that and they won't get covered in cat hair anymore. Oh my gosh, thank you. We need this. Really I knew you guys would be excited for that. Yeah, I'm really excited. You have cat hair yeah. So I'm going to wash them for you. And yeah. then it'll be clean. Open the door. Keep your tongue in your mouth. We both know where we're at. Is it not different now? It is now Christmas Eve. As you can see, I have on the same sweatshirt. I washed it last night. I'm not wearing the same dirty thing. It shrunk so much when I dried it, which is not a bad thing because it was a little big on me. My goal today is to get chores done. I would like to jump bits in Geronimo this morning, and then I have two lessons this afternoon. It's gonna be another crazy day, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow where hopefully everything is just a little slower. <laughs> I'm about to start getting bits ready. The barn is a mess. I'm not done with stalls, but everyone has been fed at least. I have to get him ready now because this is the time I'm gonna be able to have some help. So I'm gonna hopefully get him and Geronimo done. As of late, I've been doing the ad and all of the lines with bits because he can get a little excited at home and I just want him to kind of have some sense of self-control. It's really not a fun feeling having a horse just run through your hands, especially a horse as big as bits and his stride is so big, it's just a lot. He's not always very happy about it, but it's been really good for him to slow down and add a step in the lines.
group. I got Geronimo done. It was not quite what I was hoping. So I didn't really think about this whenever I got on today, but he did have one of the kids fall off of him for the first time like a week or so ago. I didn't think it was gonna affect him as much as it clearly has, but yeah, it was kind of traumatic for him because nobody has ever fallen off of him before. I can guarantee that because he was not started whenever I got him and that was the first time anybody has fallen off of him here. I kind of think that's where all of the fear was coming from today because he has been doing so good. He has not cared about any of the new jumps at all. Like Chloe has jumped some of the new jumps on him and he was perfect for her. Today is the first time he's jumped since the fall happened. So I kind of think that might have something to do with it because even when he's like sat for a while and not jumped for like a month, he's never been how he was today. This is kind of more like how I would expect him to be whenever he was first starting to jump. The last time I jumped him, he was so, so good and he was so relaxed and he was jumping very well. And today it was just kind of bad. <laughs> um, it was really bad at first. So the next time he jumps, we will not try and pick up where we left off. We will go back and you're not scared of my hat. We will go back and do some simpler things and just kind of build his confidence again. It pretty much rained the whole day Christmas day, so the horses had to spend the day inside because it was way too muddy for them to be out, but thankfully Nacho was there to provide them entertainment whether they wanted it or not. We got chores done and even scrubbed buckets so they all had some extra clean water and then I gave all the horses a bunch of carrots that Nacho spent the entire time trying to steal.